Grocery shopping. What do you see when you go to the grocery store? The aisles are filled with food. There are also refrigerators and freezers filled with food. There are sometimes things in bins in the middle of the aisles. There are different departments in the grocery store. There is the bakery. In the bakery, there are sweet things such as cakes, pies, cookies, and tarts. There are also things that you would eat with your dinner, like bread and buns. There are other things in the bakery department, like bagels and biscuits. The baker works in the bakery. There is the canned goods section. This is where you might find sauces and soups. Vegetables and fruits also come in cans. There is the section for dairy products. Here you would find milk and cream. The dairy section would also have cheese and butter. Yogurt is also found in the dairy section. In the meat department, there is beef and pork. Poultry is also found in the meat department. Poultry is chicken, duck, and goose. There are also cold cuts in the meat department. Cold cuts are the meats that are sliced up for sandwiches. Some examples of cold cuts are ham and bologna. The butcher works in the meat department. The produce department is full of fruits and vegetables. Clerks spray water on the fruits and vegetables to keep them fresh. There is a section in the grocery store for personal hygiene. This is where you would find shampoo and toothpaste. Soap and skin products would also be in this section. There is even a section for your pets. You can buy cat food and dog food. There are toys for cats and dogs. The office. Some people work in an office. There are special tools that people in an office need to do their work. There is a computer in the office. There is a telephone. Most of the time, the secretary answers the telephone. The secretary sits at a desk. The secretary has pens and pencils on the desk. The secretary writes on a notepad. Some other things that you would find in an office would include the following: a stapler to staple pages together, a photocopier to copy pages, a pencil sharpener to sharpen pencils, a water cooler where the employees could get a drink of water, a hole punch to make holes in sheets of paper, and liquid paper which is used to blank out errors on a page. Some offices have many employees in them. All of the employees have their own desks. Other offices just have one person at a desk. In some offices, there is a secretary or a receptionist, and then there is the boss in another room. There are often many important papers in an office. Important papers can be called documents. You might have to sign a document or fill out a form in an office. Some offices have bookshelves filled with books. The books are filled with information that the people in the office need. You will have to visit an office sometime. Maybe it will be a doctor's office or a lawyer's office. There are many different types of offices. Vacation. My family and I went on vacation to Lake Huron. The water is beautiful and blue there, and the sand is nice and white. The week that we were there was very hot. The sun was hot, but the water was still very cold. I went swimming and tried to catch little fish in my hands. I was careful not to get sunburned. We stayed at a hotel that had a pool and a game room. I played pinball and video games sometimes. I like to swim in the hotel pool, but I like the beach better. I would lie on a big beach towel and get warm. Then I would jump in the water and cool off. Sometimes I would just lie on the sand and watch the waves roll up on shore. I found some seashells and saw a crab walking on the sand. At first, I was a bit lonely because I didn't know anyone there. It wasn't long before I met some other kids my age. We built sandcastles together and swam in the lake. The other kids were from different towns, so we told each other stories about our schools and friends. We found that we had a lot in common, even though we were from different places. Our families got together and went to restaurants together. We played volleyball on the beach 
and we sat around a campfire at night and sang songs. At the campfire, we would roast marshmallows on a stick. I always burn my marshmallows. That is okay. I like them that way. Mostly, we just swam in the lake until we were very tired. I was sorry when our vacation was over. I had a good time at Lake Huron. I met some very good friends there. We still write to each other. Maybe we'll see each other next summer. Winter. Once the fall is over and the snowflakes start to fall, I get very excited. I can hardly wait for the ground to be covered with a blanket of white snow. I put on my mittens, my scarf, my hat, coat, and winter boots, and I run out into the fluffy snow. I have to be careful not to slip on the ice. It can get very icy and cold in the winter. The first thing that I do is to build a snowman. I sometimes build a snow fort too. My friends and I have a good snowball fight. We laugh a lot, and our cheeks and noses get very red. When we get too cold, we go into the house and have a cup of hot chocolate. My father fills the backyard with water that freezes and turns into an ice rink. When the ice is hard enough, my friends and I get our skates and we go out on the ice to play hockey. All of my friends own hockey sticks. I am usually the goalie, and I have to keep the puck from going into the net. My sister and her friends don't really like to play hockey; they would rather just skate around on the ice. I took skating lessons, so I don't usually fall down. My little brother is just learning to skate, so he falls down a lot. My father has to shovel the snow off the paths and the driveway in the winter. I help him. Shoveling snow is hard work. When my dad and I finish shoveling the driveway, we go into the house and warm our hands and feet in front of the fireplace. There is probably nothing more beautiful than fresh fallen snow on the trees. In the morning, when the sun shines on the snow, it glistens. I like to leave my footprints in the snow. Winter can be very beautiful and exciting. Spring. It rains a lot in the spring. The trees are full of buds, and the flowers are starting to bloom. My favorite spring flowers are tulips and daffodils. The birds come back from the south. I can always tell that spring is here when I see my first robin of the season. The robins pull worms from the wet ground. When it isn't raining, my friends and I go outside and toss a ball around. We look forward to the summer, but we are glad to get outside after the long winter. The air smells so fresh in the spring. My mother always tells me not to track mud into the house. It's very muddy in our yard in the springtime. I wipe my muddy feet before I go into the house. There are a lot of puddles in my yard. I sometimes splash in the puddles, and I get wet and cold, so I have to go into the house. I like it when the snow has melted, the rain has stopped, and the sun comes out. On sunny days, I always get together with my friends. On those days, we either ride our bikes. Or play ball. My parents like to go for walks on spring evenings. They also like to clean up the yard in the spring. Everyone seems to be outside. The springtime brings people out of their houses. Music. If you were in an orchestra, what would you play? Would you play a tuba, a trumpet, or a saxophone? Perhaps you would prefer a stringed instrument like a violin or a cello. Maybe you would enjoy percussion more. You could play the kettle drum. There are instruments that have keyboards. A piano and an organ have keyboards. There are instruments that have strings on them. A guitar, banjo, and mandolin have strings on them. There are instruments that you blow into. A flute, a French horn, and a harmonica are all instruments that you blow into. There are instruments that you hit with a stick. A drum and a cymbal are two things that you would hit with a stick. If you are in an orchestra, you have to watch the conductor. He will lead you through the piece of music. You might just want to be in a band for fun. You could join a rock band or a dance band. Some people learn to read music. Music notes are written on a staff. 
Each note represents a sound. There are whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. Each one of these is held for a different number of beats. It is good to learn about music. You have to learn your scales and learn about sharps and flats. If you want to learn how to play an instrument, it is best to take music lessons. Vegetables. Vegetables are very good for you. They say that you should have three servings of vegetables every day. I like green peas. Peas come in pods. I also like snow peas. You eat the pods on the snow peas. I like corn when it is on the cob. Carrots are good to eat raw. Beans are good for you. There are many different types of beans. There are string beans, kidney beans, baked beans, and lots of other types of beans. Some people don't like green vegetables like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. I like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. You can make a salad and put lots of different vegetables into the salad. In my salads, I like lettuce, tomatoes, celery, cucumber, radishes, cauliflower, and spring onions. I try to have a salad with dressing on it every day. My dad likes root vegetables like beets and parsnips. My brother will only eat potatoes. He likes his potatoes baked. My mother likes to buy her vegetables at the market. She says they are fresher there. My mother buys a lot of onions. She puts onions in almost all the meals that she cooks. Some children won't eat their vegetables. I didn't like some vegetables at first, but I have become used to them. I like having vegetables with my meals. Pets. There are many different animals that you can have for pets. The most common pets are cats and dogs. I think the second most common pets are birds and fish. You can hug a cat or a dog. You can play with a cat or a dog, but it is difficult to play with a bird or a fish. Some birds are very smart and they can be taught to do things. Parrots are very clever. Some of them even talk. Birds usually stay in bird cages. Fish have to stay in the water in a tank or a fish bowl. Some people have gerbils or guinea pigs as pets. There are even people who have ferrets as pets. I have a friend who has a lizard for a pet. She has to buy live crickets for her lizard to eat. Another friend of mine has a pet snake. I don't think I would like to have a pet snake. There are different types of dogs. Some dogs are very big and some are small. A Labrador Retriever is a big dog. A poodle is usually a small dog, although there are some large poodles. Some dogs are noisy and they bark a lot. Other dogs are quiet and obedient. I once had a dog. It was a cocker spaniel. I used to take it for walks. There are different types of cats too. My favorite type of cat is a Siamese cat. Siamese cats have blue eyes. My mother had a Persian cat. It was very furry. My mother said that it used to shed fur all over the house. Pets are a lot of fun, but they are a lot of work too. To be a good pet owner, you have to be very responsible.